What's going on guys? As always, if you guys like this video and you guys just want to show your support, make sure you guys smash that subscribe button. Make sure this bell has some little two little lines coming off of it, making it like it's ring-a-ding-ding. -ding. That way you guys get all my updated videos. everybody this is squishy here so i've been getting a lot of requests on how to do port forwarding and how to do dmc on the new sagem com routers um i actually have this one right here this is the router right here the sagem com right there so i have been getting a lot of requests about that so i decided to go ahead and make a tutorial on it um first i'm going to show you the how to get the xbox one ports all the lists the number of them and then I'm going to show you actually how to do it. So first, what you're going to do is you're going to go to google.com. Let me actually move this down a little so you can actually see what I'm doing. There we go. So if you just go to google.com, right there. Then you're going to go into the search, and I've already searched it, but I'll go ahead and type it out. Xbox One ports. You just type that in, hit enter. And then it's actually going to bring up right here this little diagram and it's the working diagram and it shows you all the ports because right here i've already checked it and this is on the actual microsoft website <clears throat> so now that you have all these ports right here right here right here now you can go on to the next step so stay tuned let me get this uh, router hooked up and i'll be right back all right, y'all, now that you have the Xbox One port list, now you need to go back up to your browser and you're gonna have to type in the IP address for your router, which for the Sagem.com routers, it's 192. Dot, oh, you see it up there, 168.1.1. You see that? And you're gonna go ahead and hit enter. Then you're gonna get this popped up. Now I have mine stuff saved. I'm gonna delete it. <clears throat> what you're actually gonna put is uh, it's admin, admin. Admin all lowercase. Admin. Make sure it's all lowercase. Go ahead and maximize this window now. And then you're gonna get into it. All right, you notice I don't have any internet connectivity. That is because I'm not using this router at the moment. I am only logged in so I can show you guys this tutorial. So the first thing you're gonna have to do is go over to the router settings. Then you're gonna click on a DHCP. And then you're gonna go all the way down here to the bottom and you're gonna hit add reserved address. And then you're gonna hit this little where it says device name. I actually named my computer my IP address. I'm not sure why it's like that. Um, but what you're gonna do is you're gonna find the device name like your Xbox. You're gonna click on it. It's gonna show you a MAC address and then you're gonna type in a new IP address. So 192.168.1. let's say 25. What this does is it's going to always give your Xbox or PlayStation, if you're on PlayStation, you're going to always give it the dot .25 IPv4, uh, IPv4 address. Then you're going to hit apply. That way, even if you router updates, you unplug it, nothing will take the .25 from your Xbox. That way, all this other stuff can work. <clears throat> you see right here, now it's saying it's enabled, all that good stuff. So now you're going to go hit the home button and you're going to hit access control. Now right here is port forwarding um, and I think one of my other videos I showed DMC. Here's the DMC. If you want to, don't want to mess with port forwarding, you can try the DMC first, but only for your consoles. Do not use it for your computer, your phone, anything only for your consoles. I can't stress that enough. Um, so what you basically do is you hit that down right there and that's going to give you, well, it should actually be 25, but I have a hard wired, have my computer done differently. So don't pay no attention. Just select your device. It should give you the IP address and then you can hit apply and then that'll actually activate the DMC and you'll be good to go. Um, now, if you don't want to do this and you actually just want to do the port forwarding, I should have to do that. 
So what you're going to do first is you're going to give it a name. So let's say uh, X1. You're going to keep this at other. Your external host is going to be the IP address 192.168.25. Oh, dot one dot twenty five. Excuse me on that one. There we go. Now what you're gonna do is you're gonna copy it so you can highlight it and hit control C. I always hit it a couple times just to make sure. Or you can double click it right there at the end. See, it highlights. And then you can hit copy. If you're on a mobile device, you can just touch it. So then you can hit control V and paste it. So it'll be just that much easier. So on this one. If you notice uh, the uh, the open ports uh, diagram I recently showed you, um, it started with port 88 UDP. So you're going to put this on UDP. Then you're going to go 88, 88, and hit add. And see right there, I'm not sure why it's not spread across. The, the, these routers are pretty new still. So, but right here, you can confirm that it happened, that it worked. So now you're going to go with like X2. You're going to paste the host your IP address. The next one is port 3074 UDP and TCP. So you just select it right here, TCP and UDP, and you're going to put 3074. And 3074. And you're going to add that. <clears throat> so you're going to do this, you're just going to keep doing it all the way through every port they have. The next one is another multiple one. It's port uh, what, 53, port 53, yeah, add that one, a little x4, paste, paste, this one is TCP, it's port 80, oops, and we're going to do x5, paste, paste, or you can right click, you can always right click and hit paste, just FYI. This next one is port 500, but it's a UDP. X6, and you can name this anything. You can name it whatever you want. I just do that for a reference. The next, okay, there were all the rest are UDP. So then we got 3544, 3544, 3544. I'm gonna do X7, oops, X. Can I get an X, please? Thank you. And it's going to be UDP. It's going to be 4500. 4500. Go ahead and hit add on that one. <clears throat> now, as I scroll down, you can see, and you can do a check mark, check off too. See, so port 88, 3074, 53, uh, 80, 500. 3544 and 4500, 4500, and then you can hit apply just to make sure everything is good if you want to. If you want to. Um, now, just remember if you're using port forward, do not use the DMZ because it'll cancel out your port forward. What the DMZ does is it basically sets your IP address or your Xbox console, your PlayStation console outside of the router's firewall. Um, so, and what the opening ports does is basically let certain ports through the firewall. So it's opening certain lanes of traffic to let it, let the information go. Um, so you can do, you can try either one, DMZ or 440. If your NAT type is still strict, um, or moderate, and this is for Xbox people, PlayStation people, I'm sorry, but it's not easy to get you all stuff off of type 2. Um, but for the Xbox people, if it's not open, another thing you could do is go to your Xbox and actually put it in the Google DNS and everything like that. Um, and then you will definitely, you should be able to get uh, open. And if you, if that excites you and you want to try that, if this doesn't work, just leave a comment down below and I'll make another tutorial on how to go through your Xbox and actually change the settings over to Google services so you don't have to run through um, your cable companies. And that's it though. Oh, my picture was bouncing. Picture was bouncing. But yeah, so that's it. That's opening ports. It's just that easy. I know on these routers, they kind of finagle everything around. They kind of make everything weird. But it's all right. Yeah, you can see right here what my port number is. My internal IP address, not port number. But uh, yeah, so if you have any questions, leave them down that way. Make sure you guys hit that subscribe button. 
Uh, make sure you guys hit that bell for reminders when I upload a new video. I do a lot of gaming videos. You have to check out my channel. And uh, on that, without further ado, I'm out of here. Thanks for watching.